Hi, I'm Paul Gannon. I'm going to do some more grappling techniques. We're going to do uh, guillotine front close guard. Massive, uh, big uh, submission move. People use it all the time. Um, so, we're just going to go through some of the things we need to do to get the submission from the guillotine. We're, not, we're going to have a closed guard um, here. Now, depending on where he is, um, unless he's got low posture here, we want to get him up. A little thing we can do to get their head up so we can start going for attacks if he's got a good low posture is feeding the uh, forearm under the neck. It's lifting him up a bit here, okay? And he might sit up and try and get posture or something, but um, we can lift him up. Now, we want to sit up maybe like we're going for a Kimor or chest to chest sweep, often to get the um, guillotine here. Um, if we're going for Kimor, we're in this position, but we can also whip the arm over take the uh, neck here, the head, and I want to be sitting up on this. I don't want to sit down with no pressure. Um, his head's already on the floor, I've got no pressure on his neck, I'm not going to get the submission. Let me move back a little bit, Lewis. Right, so, when we take the guillotine, maybe we've gone for Kimura, or maybe he's here, and he just, and he just started to sit up, and we go up here. I want to be up nice and tight here, I'm not sitting back, I want it nice and tight on his head. And I've got both my hands together, so my hands are included here. So, it's here, I've got my clothes gone, I'm sitting up a bit here, okay, I'm not sitting back. I've got it really tight on his neck. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to have my legs really tight on his hip, I'm going to push his hips away and sit back and increase the pressure slowly here. He's going to get the submission, all right? Um, I've got to use my legs and everything to get the submission. Let's do that again. Let's change angle. So, if Lewis is this side. Now, to get, a, um, to get the guillotine, of course his head needs to be to the side. Another way we can get the head to the side, if he's very low, we can do what's called popping his head. So if I'm pushing his head, his head's not going to move. His head's low, it's not going to move. It's not going to move. It's not going to move, is it, Lois? Well, it's not going to move. So what we can do is, is apply pressure to one side, um, here, and he resists. And then we pop it across and sit up. Or we go to the other side, pressure, 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 and we pop it, and we can sit up, take the neck, really tight, get the hand included, get the legs up tight, I'm sitting up the member as much as I can, and I'm squeezing it in. And I'm pushing the hips away with my legs, and I'm adding pressure here with the guillotine, and I'm looking up and back to get the submission. So, that's how you get the uh, uh, submission with the guillotine. Okay, now, we're gonna quickly do some escape tactics for that. So, because guillotine is not a really difficult technique to um, practice. Here, Lewis is in. Now, Lewis, if Lewis sits up and gets the guillotine, actually, no, go the other way, please, Lewis, for the camera. Here, I want to start protecting my neck straight away. Okay? Um, ideally, as he goes for it, if I took my chin in here, and I've got my arm in here, that's going to make it a lot harder for him to get submission just by having this position. But let's assume he's caught it clean. He sits up. I'm going to catch my hand here, okay? Now he's going to be, go, be pulling me down. I'm going to go down with him, but I want to stack my hips up here and get this hand and put it across his neck here. So, to defend it, I'm the opposite of what he wants. He wants my back flat, I want my back high. My butt basically high. He wants to tight grip my throat, so I'm going to pull against it. Also, I'm get his other hand and put it over his shoulder. So he's going to sit up, he takes it, and I, I'm defending it. I'm going to stack my hips up here, and I'm going to be basing on my head. This hand is across his shoulder and his neck here. And also, I'm going, to, I'm going to turn my chin into his ribs to give myself a bit more space. All right, so he sits up, grabs it, turn my chin in here. Now, I'm going to put pressure into his neck and start moving in here, and then pop my head out. Um, we'll do this more in class. It's a little bit subtle, but the hand over the neck is a very effective way of getting it and defending it. But just by popping your hips up, you're going to have a good chance of stopping the submission. So he does this. He sits up. I'm defending it. 
I put my hand over, I stack my hips up, and I keep them up. No matter what he does, I want to keep my hips high and keep more pressure on his neck, pressure on his neck, and pop this head out. Okay? In class, we'll drill each part of that separately. But you need to have a really good guillotine defense. You're going to be hit by a lot of guillotines, especially if you're going in for double leg takedowns. Okay? So, that's a little bit on the guillotine. Um, of course, if you want to master that, make sure you uh, come to our classes regularly. And I'll see you on the next video.